Right, well, welcome back to the GCN Tech Clinic, where together with you, we're gonna help solve a lucky, or unlucky, depending which way you look at it, member of the GCN Tech community's bike problem. Last week, we opened up the clinic door and we put to you a very simple question, and that was how to stop handlebar end plugs falling out. We had loads and loads of replies, uh, some of them weird, some of them wonderful. I'm just gonna read out a couple of them to you quickly. Uh, we had one from Nick B. Let's have John open up a bottle of champers, champagne, uh, down it, presumably in one, and then attempt to shove the cork up the bar end. He'd buy that for a dollar. Sorry, Nick, not gonna go there. It's probably gonna make too much mess, for me anyway. Uh, Rob King, he suggested chewing gum in the bar end plug. Shove it in, it won't be pleasant, but it'll stick. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a bodge, really. I wouldn't advise that one either. However, the winning solution for me was actually Nathan Green. Uh, I'll read down Nathan's quickly. The best way to solve a loose bar and plug is to use some masking or painter's tape. Yes, electrical tape is the saviour of the, of the cycling world, but for loose bar and plugs, electrical tape is too slick. Masking tape has more grip and will hold the plug more securely. I 100% agree with you on that one, Nathan. Uh, I use that method myself, and I have to say, I found it more successful than using electrical tape. So masking tape or painter's tape, do that, definitely. Right, onto the main subject. We've had lots come in. We've been scrolling through and we found this one from Mark Sato, which is probably quite a common problem, judging by the responses. And we're gonna try and tackle that one today. So the problem is, my front derailleur often rubs on my chain and sometimes it makes it hard to change from the, from the big chain ring to the small one and vice versa. Problem occurs more when sprinting. Why? Okay, all right. First up, I wouldn't actually recommend trying to change chain rings while sprinting. Uh, reason being, the cadence difference is going to be pretty huge, and that's not potentially even that safe. So try and avoid that. Also, try and use your cadence actually as a clutch mechanism. That will help shift the chain. But I do understand your problem and that you want to have all your gears working all the time. I'm exactly the same perfectionist and you just want that to be spot on. So let's have a look in the comments and let's see the solutions. Right, well without knowing exactly what bike you've got, Mark, it's hard to give you a perfect solution, but that's part of the challenge and fun of this, right? So the first solution is from Daniel Zerjak, who thinks you've got chainring wobble. What's chainring wobble, I hear you ask? Well, providing your chainring's not bent, and when you're pedaling, it's when your outer chainring just moves slightly off of line. Um, what you can do is use your derailleur cage as a guide to actually monitor that. So, pedal around and see where it's moving. Then, if you've got a square taper bottom bracket, so again, Mark, don't know what bike you've got, but if you do have a square taper bottom bracket, remove your right hand chain set, and then, just rotate it 90 degrees, refit onto the bottom bracket axle, and then check again using the derailleur cage as a guide. If it's not running smooth or straight, then move it another 90 degrees, recheck, and then you've got a final 90 degrees where you can see. Hopefully that's solved it. If not, we've got another solution coming up. Hmm, still not solved though, Mark. Well, John Downey thinks that you need a new bottom bracket, that your bearings are worn. How are you gonna check for that? Simple. Grab each side of the chain set and rock it from side to side. If there's any play or movement there, new bottom bracket time, and that could well be the solution. Still not solved that problem, have we, Mark? Well, Lop3 thinks they've got a solution. They actually fitted a narrower chain because they had the same problem as you. Uh, what did they do? They fitted a SRAM chain because it was 0.1 millimeters narrower than the Shimano one that they had. So I've actually just measured some 11 speed chains. So if you're using 11 speed, Listen carefully. I measured SRAM, and that was 5.54 millimeters across. Shimano and KMC, 5.58. And Campagnolo, 5.46 millimeters. So the Campagnolo was the narrowest. Of course, those measurements are from one plate to the other on the outside. Uh, so maybe that's your solution, a narrower chain. Now I've actually used all three of those chains across all three group sets, so Shimano, uh, SRAM and Campagnolo, and they've worked. So maybe that is your solution. Well, Mark, the most common response to your question was actually that the front derailleur itself needs some looking at. So my advice to you, unclamp the cable and start afresh. So reclamp it and then play around with the screws. Of course, don't actually play around with them. We've got a link in the description below for a video on how to adjust your front derailleur, or just up here, and then hopefully, yep, hopefully, That'll be your problem solved. And soon, your front derailleur will be working like that again. 
However, I still don't advise trying to change from one chainring to another while sprinting. The load you're gonna be putting through it and the change in cadence, if your chain was a derail, the consequences aren't necessarily gonna be in your favor. Right, Mark, I hope your problem solved. If not, I've got one final tip or one final little thing for you to check. Make sure that your chain rings are actually fitted the correct way around. Now, with most modern outer chain rings, it's pretty obvious because of the way that they're designed. Uh, inside chain rings, though, sometimes they can be a little pain. I once had a bike that I was looking at and someone had swapped the chain ring around and it was just a little bit too big a gap for the derailleur to cope with well. So just make sure and check that one. Now, remember, you can submit your problems for us down below in the comments, and I want everybody else to have a look through that and try and solve someone else's. That way we can try and solve, or even definitely solve, someone's problem. Now remember, like and share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the GCN Tech channel, click just here. And for two more great videos, how about down here for how to level your levers, and down here for the latest GCN Tech Show.